As we all know, straps can give a watch some new life upgrade, uh, some of its uh, some of its features, some of its accent. And today I was sent some straps from Artem. We're gonna be going over the strap quality, the build, the make, the model, and some of their other features they have on their website. But I'm also gonna be showing you different ways to upgrade your current classics or just current pieces in your collection with the right styling, the right color, and the right matches just to upgrade some iconic pieces. So I was contacted by Artem to make a review on some of their straps and they asked me if I was interested and I said, of course I was interested in some straps. Full disclosure, they sent these straps to me for free. They sent five of their loopless sailcloth watch straps with the deployant buckle. I'm gonna be going to an in-depth review of these straps here. And I've, I've seen videos saying that this is a paid promotion because they send you some free straps. I mean, to be honest, I don't really think this is a paid promotion. I think they just sent me some straps for free that I can review and they gave me the liberty of saying whatever I wanted to. They did have a, a caveat if I had anything. They just wanted to know what I was going to say about the straps beforehand. And I did have a couple of things that I wanted to clarify with them. And I'll be going through that with you guys in the video. But all these opinions are mine. They they just sent me the straps. I'm giving you the positives, the negatives, and some of the things that I may want to change for these straps. And um, some of the things that just I think about these straps that you might not have seen on another video. So these are the loopless straps and they sell for $133 a piece. But when you go to the, um, to add it to the cart, they're gonna ask you if you wanna add the deployant stainless steel clasp. And these are 68 bucks. So all in all, you're in it for $200 for a sailcloth strap, which um, as for the materials, if you look on their frequently asked questions, what is this exactly made of? So they say on their website, this is not genuine sailcloth. This is made from a synthetic material, but the reason why they didn't use a genuine sailcloth is that um, it's not very comfortable to the touch. They made a strap that looks like sailcloth and the underside is genuine leather that's coated with a natural rubber. This is one of the main points I do wanna point out to people is that this is pretty awesome that there's some kind of rubber coating underneath one of the reasons why i steer away from leather straps is because i don't like what happens to the underside of straps and if i'm going to sweat which i live in hawaii so i'm outside a lot i'm very sweaty you can see the underneath um, of these regular leather straps they get kind of kind of busted up this one is not an expensive strap i want to feature it a little bit later but this underside being rubber really makes a difference in my wearing experience it didn't feel like that the the strap was kind of like soaking up my sweat like you know a nato would do it feels a little bit damp but this kept my wrist dry because it's it wasn't getting absorbed into the strap so it was a very comfortable experience on a hot day and one of the things that i would like to point out here is the deploying class we we mentioned that it's 68 dollars here it is a very high quality uh, clasp here. It does add so much to the uh, watch and the wearing experience. I mean, deploying clasp on straps aren't that common. I do have a couple of examples here in my own collection where I have, you know, I have this one. I've featured it on the channel before. This is a very well-made strap and a well-made clasp. I wouldn't say that this uh, Artem clasp is on the same level as the Omega, but let's be real, this Omega clasp was probably like three or $400 just to upgrade it. Or maybe it's the whole strap design, but I'm pretty sure it was about 500 more um, for the watch when you got this clasp. So I, I don't know what it is. They probably sell it on online on their um, website now that I could check it out later. but this has a luxurious feel for a luxurious amount of money these are 
these straps give you a luxurious feel for less i'm not saying this strap is cheap but this strap is very well made i think it is worth the the price of admission here and i think these straps are a great way to upgrade your watch collection the other thing is i really appreciate quick release strap systems like this it's it's just something that's getting a lot more modern a lot better i feel that you know being a watch enthusiast even like a, a casual watch fan and you're able to switch out your straps like this because not everybody has the tools that it takes to you know pop out a spring bar pop in a spring bar i know you can do it something else other than um an actual spring bar tool but this just makes it so much easier i had these straps at work and i was kind of showing people and when i took it off of my wrist just undoing the claps they're like oh what is that there because a lot of straps that people have have the regular tang buckle and clasp here that you know it's a classic system it you know it's it's fine for watches but this this adds like a whole nother level of luxury to it but of course you're paying for it but the thing is i'm not sure if you can like just buy one one clasp and then just the strap it looks like you can take it out but it looks like it's going to be very hard if they had a to like you know if if i wanted to change it onto this one if this one didn't have the buckle on it you kind of have to buy it as a package set i mean i'm sure there is a way and somebody could find out but it looks like i guess maybe if you just get a spring bar you can pop it right out but then that kind of defeats the purpose like i was talking about before like you know it's kind of about ease right you just want to pop this out get it off but if you're going to change buckles every time but i mean maybe to save 60 bucks you should change buckles i mean i'm not going to do it because they sent me five different straps and all five different straps had the buckle on it so shout out to them for sending me that because i would definitely not change it myself but so let's go on to the colors that they sent. They sent me the loopless navy blue with white stitching. Very beautiful. Very nice stitching all the way around. And one of the things that I did like about these straps is that when I compared the color to the website, it looked pretty spot on. So the other color that they sent was the gray with the gray stitching. They sent the beige with the beige stitching. They sent the green with the green. And then they sent the black with the gray stitching here. So I've been wearing these straps for about a week. It's, I mean, I had to switch uh, straps, switch watches just to get them all in. And one of the negatives I did um, present the company with was that uh, these straps are kind of, I mean, they feel uh, well-made and of nice quality but it is very stiff and it does take a little bit just to get them going you're gonna have to break them in yourself you know wear it or just maybe wrap it around like uh you know a watch uh watch case holder thing like this for maybe a little bit that's why this one um this one as you can see from the side it flares out more because i was i did put it on one of my uh, watch uh, holder uh little pillow thingies and versus these ones i was just wearing it on the wrist so it's a little bit it's a little bit stiff out of the box but i can see how it will wear and it will um loosen up with more wear but i just didn't have enough time to test it enough but this uh this thing but this one should be the test itself because it was in my box for maybe three or four days around the around the pillow thing and it did loosen up nicely so when you put it on the wrist it does it does feel nice and you just got to wear it a little bit they they told me just to work it you know a little bit like this if you can work it a little bit like that put it around the pillow and it did loosen up nicely one thing i did notice about these watches is that they are very difficult putting in just because they are so um they're stiff right so you gotta have to you have to pinch it in like this and then you have to find the hole like this but the thing is the hole is hard to find like because you can't see it and the thing is it doesn't slide back and forth because it is in 
it's like in this buckle here so I'm trying to get it to the next uh, the next one you can kind of line it up if you look a little bit you can line it up if you look underneath and then you kind of squeeze it in I saw a video on their website on their frequently asked questions they kind of just like slide it they slide it straight in more like this but it's not gonna slide like you have to pinch it you kind of just put it in straight like this loop it over and then have it slide back you're gonna have to pinch it pinch it in and that's just uh, the same thing with my with my Omega here you have to pinch it to get it in and out but I guess that's how it um, how it should be that's why it fits your wrist so nicely and all the strap the excess strap goes underneath the watch but um, just to me I think finding the hole but once you find the hole see like this Omega it just pops right in pretty easily when you find the hole this one you gotta like hunt for the hole you gotta hunt for the little thing that sticks in the hole but once you stick it in the hole you really have to like work it in just to get it in so I finally got it in there by pressing once you get it in um, there's nothing to it you know you're not going to be switching because that's how big your wrist is and then there's nothing as for micro adjust but these are pretty small so this is maybe like maybe three millimeters for each uh, each sizing hole so those are the only things that I noticed when I've been wearing this is the the stiffness of the thing which it which speaks to the quality I think it should be stiff out of the box it shouldn't be you know kind of loose and going so you're gonna have to break these in but you know once they are broken in you're not gonna worry about the quality of it maybe like ripping or tearing because of the high quality material on the outside because of the rubber coated leather on the back side and even the stitching over here it's double stitched here and it's double stitched here that's probably why it's a little bit more difficult to find and poke through the hole because it's not just like a regular watch strap that has holes on it you know it's uh it has the leather the rubber the sailcloth and another piece of rubber running along here so these straps are pretty much indestructible and I think it adds a really good wearing experience and it adds a lot of versatility to some watches uh, if you have a large collection you can play with all these different straps here this is one thing I just noticed when I started doing the review for these um, straps here is that this one that they sent me seems to be ripped right here and I was trying to push it back into the hole, but I can't really even see a hole here. I don't know if the, it's too tight. So what it was doing, when I had it on the watch, it was actually like out of the, um, it was actually out of the strap here. So, but the thing is, it's not gonna rip off. Like the only way that the strap will rip off the, um, the watch is if this whole thing rips here so I'm not sure if this is just a defect here um, I'm gonna contact them about this and I'll let you know what they say one last thing that I really wanted to point out about these uh, these straps here is that there is no uh, play once you get it into the watch here so this is strapped in and if we can get a close look you cannot see the spring bar at all which i appreciate so it's a little bit bigger than 20 millimeters just a tad hair bigger because every every strap that i had you really have to like push it in and then get the spring bar in which i really i really like for example sometimes when i have a 20 millimeter nato strap it slides right in and you can see just the slightest slightest edge of the spring bar there which kind of like irks my my OCD with watches if I can see some of the spring bar I just don't like it at all but this one flush perfect I believe this beige or cream strap from Artem does really work perfectly with this it kind of matches with the slightly patinaed uh, indices and hands I this cream color actually fits perfectly and matches perfectly I believe with the Black Bay 58 and it does uh, match perfectly with the with the numbers and the and the markings on the bezel here 
This is a great upgrade if you have a Black Bay 58 and you would like to upgrade with something non-traditional because if you think about it, people are going to tend to put it more on a black strap, maybe the gray, but I'm not sure if the gray looks too too good on this one. It doesn't, there's no real gray elements. Maybe if you had the, um, the Black Bay 58 silver version with the kind of grayish taupe dial. As for straps, the Rolex Explorer is probably the number one strap monster watch that's out there. It can take any strap. I mean, right now I believe that the green does work the best with it, but earlier I had it on the gray, which also worked out just beautifully too. I mean, maybe the gray might work better than the green. But then you could also put this blue one on it too, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't look out of place at all because of the kind of the simplicity of the color scheme of this watch makes it very very easy to match it with straps and this sailcloth strap adds like a different type of dimension to it it looks you know it looks better than just a regular flat-ish type leather strap and even um the stitching makes it look like it adds a little more depth to it too and you know, when you're looking at a strap, you're kind of saying, hmm, what material is that? Because leather is very recognizable. A NATO, I mean, it's just a, you know, NATO cloth strap here. But this, with the texture and the stitching, does add a very interesting element to your watch and your watch wearing experience. I feel that this strap here matches it pretty well. As you can see, it has a slate gray dial and it works just well with this beautiful stitching made by Artem. Sometimes you don't want your straps to match it too perfectly. I mean, we could have put it on this gray strap, which would also look pretty amazing. And thanks again for watching another episode of Hawaiian Horology and thanks so much to Artem Straps for sending in these straps for a review. I'll have a link to their website in the description below so you guys can check out their other models or maybe pick up a loopless strap for yourself. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Shoots!